Hello everyone and thank you so much for joining me on episode number 3 of the Jaya Music Q&A series. I'm very happy you joined us today. Last time I interviewed Draw Alex and we really went deep in talking about the artwork for Chip Machine. So if you guys want to go check that out, it's on my channel. Today we're answering a question from Anno's Boss. And this is a question he asked on my YouTube video when I hit 2,000 subscribers. He asked, how to get 2,000 subscribe? Can I explain more please, dude? Okay. So the English might not be that well written out in this question, but basically he wants to know how did I manage to hit 2,000 subscribers and overall how did I get so many subscribers? There's a lot of different things I did to hit 2,000 subscribers. First of all, I stayed consistent. Every week I always upload some piece of content, whether it's Chip Machine, Lunatic Rappers, Giant Music a podcast, a vlog, I always have something coming out every week. So this gives a reason for people to subscribe to me because they know that every week I'm going to be putting out a brand new video for them. First thing you have to do is be consistent in your video uploading, okay? You don't have to make it all oh, every Monday I put out a new video, but every week put out a new video. That's a good regular basis for me. Another thing that I did as well is that I remain very active on social media. Every day I'm tweeting, every day I'm Facebooking, every day I'm on Tumblr, and I'm always putting out my content as much as possible so that people remember that I exist and remember that I'm still active. It's a fine line though. You don't want to be annoying. Like one or two posts a day is plenty, okay? More than that, you're going to start annoying people and people are just going to be turned off to look, go check out your content. Another thing I did as well is do YouTube collaborations. I did this video with a YouTube gamer called Ions the Crew and he's the number one uh, Call of Duty commentator in Ottawa. That's his thing. He does video game YouTube videos. And so we did a commentary together and that got me a bunch of new subscribers and it got him a bunch of new subscribers, which was really cool. So collaborate Collaborating with YouTubers is a good idea. What would happen is that you both make a video and at the same time you both upload it and then you link your collaborator's channel in the description and they do the same for you. And so your viewers will go check him out and his viewers will go check you out. So that's a new way to gain new subscribers as well. Another thing I did to gain more subscribers is join Facebook groups, YouTube Facebook groups to be precise. Basically these are Facebook groups full of different YouTubers who are content creators and want to have their stuff checked out as well. So if you post your stuff there, be like, oh, go check out my new video and if you enjoy it, please subscribe to me and I would love to hear your stuff they'll comment on yours check you out and you can help each other out like that building a sort of camaraderie with other content creators is always a good thing if you garnish sympathy for yourself and give back to your own community for sure at some point someone's gonna come back to you and help you out so that's one other th another thing I did I do want to go more into detail about putting yourself out there when I mean putting yourself out there I don't just mean on social media you also have to be active in real life in the sense that people can talk to you get to know you you can maybe mention oh yeah I have a YouTube channel I don't like, oh really when I'm at a party or at a social gathering, I talk to people a lot. And at some point in the conversation, we talk about our interests and what we do. And most of the time, I'm going to mention that I have a YouTube channel. And most of the time, people are interested by that. Oh, what? You make YouTube videos? That's really cool. And then I'll talk to them about it and they will go check me out eventually. So that's always a good thing. Another thing that I did to get more YouTube subscribers and it really helped me propulse myself to 2,000 subscribers specifically is when I was at Algonquin College studying music industry arts, there was this, this competition event and they needed a judge from the music industry arts program. And so I I volunteered myself to be that judge and there was a crowd about like what 200 300 people and so the judges introduced themselves and then I mentioned oh yes it was a music competition okay it was a music competition and I introduced myself and I said uh, so what do you do your name is Jayan what do you do? Oh, I have a YouTube channel if you want to if you guys want to go check me out uh, go check out Jayan music and that day I got 30 subscribers alone and even at that at that specific event as well when I did mention that, some girl actually did the school, ran the school magazine, and I got interviewed and featured in the YouTube magazine. And that got me a lot more exposure and, of course, a lot more subscribers. So you have to remain active. You have to have interesting content. At the bottom, the most important thing, the most important thing is that your videos, your content, whatever you do, it's got to be good. It's got to be worth go checking out again. I feel like I've hit this level when I put out videos. People go check them out and do come back and subscribe to my channel. So at some point, if you keep putting out good content, content it's going to attract subscribers to you you got to put tags in your videos as well obviously and you got to make sure that one thing that you do is that you mention and ask people to subscribe Be like oh if you enjoyed this video please subscribe and most of the time well and no and sometimes people will subscribe to you so there's a bunch of different outs with this and as many outs as you take is as many chances you're going to get to get subscribers one thing that i find though is that people put a huge importance on subscribers for some reason for someone to have a thousand subscribers is a big deal i do agree that it's a big deal in the sense that yes you got a thousand people interested in your content and now it's a thousand people who subscribe to you who watch your video enjoyed it and now they're gonna keep checking out your videos it does help out but don't fall into this trap where you think that 
subscribers is the most important thing. There's more than just subscribers, okay? So yeah, these are kind of the things that I do on a regular basis and that helps me get more subscribers. So if you definitely apply all of these tips that I've given you, there's gonna be a significant change in your subscribers. I definitely suggest doing all of these tips because they will help you one way or another. Another tip I would give you just before I finish this is don't do sub for subs all of the time. You can do it once in a while when you're starting out in the sense of getting an actual number up on your channel. I understand that when you're starting out, sub for sub is a very easy way to get subscribers. But I just want you to make you understand that when you subscribe to the uh, person's channel for them to subscribe back to yours, how likely are you to go check out their content? Not that much. You might come across the video once and, it'll and you'll go check it out. And if the majority of your subscribers do that, it's not gonna be a, like, yes, you'll have a lot of subscribers, but it's gonna be quantity and not quality. Make sure that your subscribers that you get are actually valuable people in the sense that they want to check out your content. They didn't just subscribe to your channel so you can subscribe back to them, okay? It's more than just a number. It's people that you care about. Oh, I'm rambling on so much here. One last last advice. Promise, pro I promise this is the last advice I'm going to give. <laughs> you can host contests for subscribers only in the sense that Okay, you want to win, uh, you want to win, a f like, w one thing I did, uh, you want to win a shout out on my podcast, or you want to win a free t-shirt, or you want to win uh, this uh, free download of a song I made, all you gotta do is subscribe to my channel, okay, and then I'm gonna pick a subscriber at random, and then that subscriber's gonna win the prize, whatever the prize may be, and that gives people a huge reason to subscribe to you, because people love free stuff, so yeah, you can do that as well. That's basically the rundown of all of my advice for you guys. If you apply all of those, you're gonna get a change, I guarantee it. So thank you so much. Anna's boss for that question. I really appreciate that. I should have done this a lot earlier, but I want to give a shout out to Kyokai Hatake, who actually did the giant avatar that you're currently looking at on the thumbnail of this video. He's really awesome. Go check him out. His deviant art is in the description. And thank you guys so much for checking out this video. Make sure to subscribe to me because obviously I just give you great advice, so you should might as well subscribe to me. <laughs> and I have a Twitter at tweetmegian. Follow me up if you aren't already following me. You can like me on Facebook, facebook.com forward slash giant music band, and you can give this video a big thumbs up. Thank you guys so much. I'm currently still in France. And this is a new video that I put out. So I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you in the next QA. Take care, guys. Bye.